2023 has been an insane year for me. It's the first year I actually took my life somewhat seriously after just wasting all my hours, like playing video games, doing bad habits, all that stuff. Like it's finally the year that I actually started to make a change and actually think about my future self, which is actually one of the things I learned in 2023 is to think about your future self. Think about like every action you do pretty much is your future self going to be happy that you did that? Like, if you relapse, like, is your future self going to care? It, like, it's not going to care how you're feeling. These things might sound obvious, but I haven't done the obvious things for years of my life. So even if you do do these things that I talk about, if you implement it half, like, if you half do it, you're not going to get the greatest results as someone who does it all the way and actually applies it in their life. That's the person who's going to use their potential the most and be better than all of those people. So the first thing I want to talk about, to the first lesson I learned in 2023 is that you control your life. You control the outcomes that happen in your life. I'm choosing to talk to you right now. You're choosing to listen to this. I'm choosing to be outside. I'm choosing to wear this coat. I'm choosing to not care about some pimples on my face. I'm choosing to not care that like, oh, like I'm a little tired. Like I can't do anything in my life. I'm choosing to not care about that. I'm choosing to not care about the belief that's in my mind. Like, oh, what if I like, I shouldn't do this. It's too risky. Because when you choose to listen to your brain that keeps you poor, keeps you weak, you're not gonna live a great life. I, I, like, I think that makes sense. So just moving on to the next thing. The next thing I learned is beliefs can make or break you. Literally, like given like the two people in the same circumstances, like running a race, one person believes he's gonna lose to this guy. This guy believes he's gonna destroy this guy. Like who's gonna win? If they have the same like strength, same speed, who's just gonna win? Because this guy, he just believes he can do it. He believes like, yeah, everyone else like, I'm better, I'm him. So have more positive beliefs about yourself. And I know like, oh yeah, think positive, la la la. Just believe you can actually do it. Believe that you're him. Don't have a crazy ego and like not n never do anything else, never talk to anyone like, oh, you're better than everyone else. Still like learn from people and see how they're living their life, I guess. But believe you can do it. Believe you can put yourself out there in your comfort zone more. And the beliefs that you have about success and your life will actually come true. Because when you believe it so many times, it, it, it just, it can't help but actually become reality. So the third thing that I learned in 2023 is to not follow what they all do. Like, imagine like the, oh, everyone else is doing it. So it's like, it's a good thing to do. Cause like, come on, everyone else is doing it. But everyone else scrolls. Everyone else plays video games. Like, we know this. Everyone else is poor and hates their life. So why would we follow what they do? Why would we follow what they eat, how they live their life, the beliefs that they have, the things they do? Like, why would we follow those things? If we can just see, like, six billion people all following these things and live terrible lives, hate their life. But... Like, we still want to listen to these things like, oh, yeah, everyone else is doing it. Like, it's the norm. It's it's fine. Like, it doesn't make sense, right? So don't follow what all of them do. And sometimes you're going to have to be forced to follow what all of them do, like going to school, eating this thing. But the more you realize and understand that you can break off and everyone else will hate you. Everyone else will think you're weird. You're like... You're an outsider, but like the rich people are outsiders. The successful people are outsiders. They are different. They do stand out. They do change. But I think like all, all of those negative benefits, the negative things about like standing out and being different than all of them, like they're amazing. So yeah, en enough of me. Uh, the fourth thing I learned in 2024 is to don't overthink. Do not overthink about kind of what you say. 
don't overthink about like oh what if my shirt's a little weird like it, it sounds weird to think overthink about that stuff right when you look at someone else who is like in your situation, like if you're describing a scenario like, oh, I didn't know if I wanted to talk to this person because like, yeah, I didn't know, like it didn't, it wasn't the right time. You know, some random thing that like you overthink about and the other person just like, why didn't you do it? Like why, why were you overthinking? Just do it. Like, it's not that hard. And then you're like, oh shoot, you're right. Like, why did I even overthink that? Right? So many times, I would overthink about all the little things. And I feel like the reason why this happens so much is because you're not confident in yourself. You're not confident you can just make a decision and stick with it and it's the right decision. Like even if it isn't the right decision, at least you're actually making a decision. Like if you make a decision to work out, like oh maybe you can do push-ups instead of like bench press, maybe that would be better. But the fact that you're not overthinking and you just do something is better than the person who's just overthinking and doesn't even go to the gym because they overthought about what workout to do so they just don't do nothing. Like that makes sense, right? So actually do this. Stop overthinking. The next thing I learned in 2023 is to invest in yourself. Instead of buying some like dumb AirPods, instead of buying some new tr shoes, some $200 shoes, some this and this, all these material things, actually invest in yourself more often. Buy more books, buy more. Like, I think you know what you can buy to invest in yourself. Like, if you if you could really spend $1,000 right now, what would you do it on? Like, what would you do it on? Maybe you can buy like some, all right, I was about to say something crazy to remove the dogs but think about things that you can really invest your money in and time and energy in like not even just money but investing into watching like some video like this investing into learning about this investing your energy into working out things like that invest in yourself more often and then you'll grow a lot more like with these th with these things man I feel like like, oh, you'll grow a lot more. You'll get your potential faster. You'll improve your life. It's so bland and basic. Like, you forget that the impact it really has. Like, it'll improve your life. Like, how much would you pay to improve your life? How much would you pay to get 20% more successful? I would probably pay, like, a lot of time and money for that, right? So, if you invest your money, energy, and t time doing that, then you will get that 20% increase in your life, 20% more success. So yeah, it is worth it. The sixth thing that I learned in 2023 is that attention is extremely important. It is extremely important to guard your attention because in a world we live in today, like there's so many distractions, like we, we already know, and they all consume all the distractions. They just, you, you already know, right? So guarding your attention is so important because it actually allows you to focus on something and get success out of it like once again like success is so like a overused word but like imagine being successful because you just focus on one thing you don't look at all the stuff just out there just absorbing and consuming everything instead you create something and actually stop being like all of them <laughs> yeah so the 10th thing I learned in 20, what am I saying 10th thing? The seventh thing I learned in 2023 is to be more grateful. Like what are, what are you grateful for right now in your life? Are you grateful for the fact that you can watch this video? You can just sit, relax. I'm grateful that I even started talking to you. I am able to sit here in the nice weather like no background noise pretty much and enjoy all these trees all all these little things I can just enjoy my life and I'm grateful I'm not worrying about all the all the little negatives in my life like oh like my face is a little weird oh this and this I'm grateful I'm not worrying about that stuff because it allows me to succeed 
I'm grateful I'm constantly learning. And the eighth thing, I'm gr like, I'm grateful I learned all these 20, 20, 23 things in 2023. And the eighth thing I learned in 2023 is to destroy your ego. Seriously, like, when you destroy your ego, you're able to succeed a lot more. Bro, it's so annoying. Like, when you do this, you'll succeed a lot more. When you, if you do this, you'll succeed a lot more. Do this and you won't succeed as much. I swear, there has to be a better word for succeed. But if you destroy your ego, you're able to see what you can improve on. Like, I'll admit it, I don't have an ego. But, like, the 200 videos I uploaded previously, they're all terrible. They all suck. Okay, maybe they don't all suck. Maybe there's, like, some good ones here and there. But, like, the first 100 videos I uploaded they aren't that good like they're not good like and i'll admit that like they're not good and because i'm able to admit that i'm like okay what did i do bad in the video okay maybe i didn't talk as loud maybe i was like a little shy maybe i didn't i wasn't as confident as what i was what with what i was saying and then like imagine if i had an ego and thought all oh, my videos are great amazing life-changing videos and then i would never never able to see that i'm like a little nervous I'm a little shy, I like don't speak as loud, I'm not as confident. Maybe I just repeat the things that already been said like a thousand times. Don't try to give my own perspective on things, ha stuff how I see it. So yeah, destroy your ego <laughs> and, and you'll improve your life. The ninth thing that I learned in 2023 is good habits help you so much. Like, it, it sounds kind of like a duh, but I didn't realize, like, just the fact that taking a cold shower, reading a book, going outside for 20 minutes. You really just have to do it yourself to experience how better off you feel in your life. And when you want to go back to the bad habits, you re bro, you realize how good your life is. So the 20, what am I saying? The 10th thing that I learned in 2023 is that you should think about your future self. I already said this kind of, so I'm just going to move on. 11th thing, bro, bro. The 11th thing I learned in 2023 is to limit your inputs. Limit the amount of things you consume. Limit the amount of things you invest your time and energy in. Because, yeah, it might be a good to be a sponge and, like, consume everything, consume all the knowledge and stuff. But it comes to a point where you're just consuming way too much. You're just consuming, consuming, and you're not actually implementing anything that you learned. So I want you to, like, actually, yeah, I want you to pause this video. And one of the, like, 11 things that I said in this video, just do it right now. Do one of those things. Really. Like, just pause this video and do one of the things I said. Maybe be more grateful. Write down why you're grateful for this. And, like, I'm grateful that, like, I have this video because it's helpful and cool to watch. It's fun to watch. And I'm, like, what else? Like, I'll start believing that I am able to succeed. I'll start believing that, like, it is possible. And I won't worry about the things that hold me back. Like, actually. So, limit your inputs maybe like make this one of the last videos you watch today because like limit your input stop consuming so much stuff because when you just consume and consume like you don't learn anything yeah you might apply it like one week later but what if you just applied it right now what if you just went outside right now for 10 minutes what if you just stopped going on your phone right now yeah i'm talking to you i'm talking to you, you, you like you don't want to be like all of them right you just go on their phone and can't succeed in life can't like win they can't win they're losers and you don't want to be a loser we can be winners and doing these 23 things helped me so much so yeah a little break please please actually pause and do this the 12th thing i learn in 2023 is to constantly learn imagine if i didn't want to learn i didn't care about anything well, then I wouldn't be making this video right now because I didn't learn anything. I learned these things and I could hopefully tell you the things I learned so you can learn something from it way faster. Like it took me a whole year to learn these things and you could just learn it in like 
five minutes, ten minutes. That's so crazy, right? Like, that's crazy. Like, it took me a whole year to learn this, and you just learn it in five minutes. That's cr crazy investment. Crazy investment. So, yeah, the 13th thing I learned in 2023 is to initiate. Initiate more things in your life. Be a leader. Don't wait for people to just, like, kind of, like, drag you, put you in the right place that you need to succeed. Like, sometimes you just have to be the first one to talk, be the first one to do this. Like, I remember when I was in, like, the online school, like, our teachers put us in breakout rooms. So it was like four four students without any ca cameras, without any mics, and nobody would initiate and nobody would get things g done. And fair enough, it's school like school, like it sucks to learn there and you know, it's, it's a boring place, but nobody would initiate and nobody would get things done. So when the teacher joined in to check in on the breakout room, like it was, she was like, okay, what's going on? Like, did you start it? Like, and everybody was like, no. No, I didn't know. Just typing in the little chat. Like nobody initiated, nobody got things done in your life. So the 14th thing I learned in 2023 is to improve every single day. Improve every single day of your life. Find one thing you can do every day to get 1% better. Maybe it's like, do this faster, wake up faster, Okay, I, I just want to say this right now so I don't forget it. A bonus thing I learned in 2023 that I literally learned like two days ago is that... Oh my gosh, what was it? No, 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 no. It's actually a good one too. No. It's like, okay, the way you do one thing in your life is the way you do everything else. So if you're a little lazy, if you like to cut corners, you'll be lazy and cut corners in other things in your life. If you are focused and hardworking on something in your life, you will more likely be like that in other scenarios and areas in your life. Seriously, so try it like, how do you wake up? The perfect way to see this is like, how do you wake up? Do you wake up like right away, you jump out and you do stuff or do you like roll in bed for 10 seconds, stretch and like be like, oh, it's five or it's seven, like, all right, I'll get up. Like, which one are you? Well, if you like delay the time it takes you to wake up, you're probably going to delay the time it takes you to work, delay the time it takes you to learn and work out, implement these things. It's probably going to take you next year to implement these things that I just learned. So be fast and implement these things that you did right now so you'll do a lot of other things in your life quickly. So yeah, improve every day, the 14th thing. Just find one one way you can improve every single day. Like right now, I'm improving right now by talking to you. I'm improving my speaking skills. So later on in my life, when I think about my future self, I realize that speaking is a really good skill and it can help me in many ways in my life. So the fact that I'm doing it right now, I'm getting better every day, improving every day. So the next thing I learned in 2023, the 15th thing is to focus on your health because you can't have poop. You can't have anything in your life if you're dead, right? So focus on your health because you, like you never think it's going to happen to you. You never think like, oh, you're going to get sick. You're going to do this. But like you you forget how important health is until you actually get sick, until you actually get this pain in your chest, you get this pain in your balls. That's when you start realizing like, okay, I should take my health more seriously. I should actually do something about this. That's when you actually take your life more seriously. And I know it's like kind of like a deep thing to talk about, kind of, but seriously, prioritize your health health over wealth and relationships like all of that bro just have good health and then boom then you can worry about this like if you have terrible health if you're eating terrible if you like aren't active at all if you're just being like all of them focus on that first and then focus about how to make money then focus about like how to talk to people better do that first 
But first, prioritize your health. Because if that's gone, your whole life is gone. Like, I hope that makes sense. The 16th thing I learned in 2023 is to stay consistent because it will take time. Great things in life weren't built in a day. Like, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not laying bricks. You're just building a cathedral. Like, quotes like that. Because you can't expect to do something amazing, extraordinary in one day. No, it takes months. It takes years. It takes years to build something up crazy. And don't use that as an excuse like, oh, I should never start then so because like it's going to take forever. Use that as an opportunity to start now. Start something now. Create something. Start something right now. Like imagine the first day I uploaded a video, April 1st. I uploaded that video April 1st, 2023. Imagine if I was like, oh no, it's going to take too long. And then I just started uploading right now, December 21st. Imagine I just started uploading right now. Like my skills, my skills, belief, confidence, all of that stuff would be so much lower. Because I didn't start earlier. So start earlier, start now. So many people regret that they wish they started this earlier. They wish they did this sooner. So actually do it now. Take that advantage right now. Please do something. Please. Please. If you're doing something, great job, bro. I'm proud of you. Stay consistent. It'll take time. When you're in those low moments of like no success, no growth, no anything in your life, just be happy because like it can only go up. It could literally gonna only go up. And like when you're in that flat zone for a long time, it's eventually just going to go like that. It, it is eventually going to happen. You can't life can't suck forever your success and stuff can't just be stagnant forever it has to change it really does and like it's so easy to 180 flip your whole perception and emotions about your life it really is like i know i shouldn't really care about the views and stuff but like when i finally when i've been uploading like every day and getting like 70 views 70 views 70 views like i'm just like bro what's the point like i suck why why and then when i finally get a video that gets like 2000 views i'm like ecstatic i'm like bouncing up and down i'm just so happy and then like that just boom 180 completely flipped my thoughts and feelings about my life it really did and i know i shouldn't really focus on that stuff and i'm trying my hardest not to but yeah so anyways, the next thing I learned in 2023 is that your environment is extremely important. Because if your environment is messy, if your environment is like unattractive, like I said in that bonus thing, if your environment is messy, you probably are messy in a lot of other things in your life. Like you're probably messy in your business. You're probably sloppy when you work out. You're probably sloppy when you wake up, take a shower. I don't know. You're probably messy in those things too. So if you clean your environment, not only will you perceive your life a hundred times better, at least, bro, seriously. Like, you don't realize how dirty and how filthy your room is until you clean it. One time I was literally vacuuming under my bed and there was just a million, like, dust bunny, like, sculptures. They built, like, a whole city under my bed out of dust and all, like, the pencils and weird stuff under my bed for five years. And then when you finally clean it, you just feel amazing. And then when your room is clean, when you feel great, your room is clean, you feel great, you feel clean, you feel organized in your life. And you're probably then more organized in your work, more productive with the things that you do. So yeah, the 18th thing I learned in 2023, I kind of talked about is to be fast, be quick with what you do. Just boom, 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 boom. Don't like, Success doesn't like to, how can I word this? Like, if you want to be successful, you have to be fast. And you have to be fast knowing that, like, you have to stay consistent. Be quick to understand that it will take some time. And be quick to realize, like, a good opportunity. And a good opportunity is right now. You're watching the perfect video, bro. Like, all of those people can't watch this video because there's no dopamine and there's not, like, none of that stuff. They can't watch this video, but you can, you freaking can, because you're a legend, you're like that. So use this opportunity right now to be fast and be fast in success. So yeah, 
The 19th thing I learned in 2023 is to lean out your comfort zone. And the best way I did this is literally uploading videos every single day. Because I leaned out my comfort zone like that, put myself out there like literally in public. It's public, it's to the whole world, it's social media. <sighs> I'm able to do that. And I'm able to improve and learn a lot more. Because I put myself out there, like as a result, I put myself out there and more other things in my life. And then when I do that, I succeed a lot more. Like I know I hate, I hate the word succeed and stuff because it's so overused and like you don't even know what succeed means, but like you'll just honestly be great. So next thing, 20th thing I learned in 2023, we're almost there. Value your time. Literally like imagine you're working like 50 hours, $50 per hour. Value your time at that. So don't wait in line for an hour for some $40 like meal literally just focus on the main things in your life and don't do all that stupid stuff that takes up so many hours of your day like watching some like dumb podcast there's this like fallacy thing I forgot what it's called but it's like if you pay $20 to watch a movie and like 10 minutes and you realize the movie's terrible don't watch it like oh I gotta get all my $20 worth don't watch it all the way. Just leave. Leave the theater when 10 minutes pass. Don't watch the whole two-hour film because you're wasting an hour and 50 minutes of your life. And the same thing, like, if you can, like, go to your work 30 minutes faster, but it costs $5, do it. Because if you value your time at $50 an hour, boom, that's $25 saved. And even if you're not making any money, like, or this and this, like still value your time at that because eventually you will get to a point where your time is like that and i wanted to say something really good but i kind of forgot it and yeah if you keep on doing that if you keep valuing your time at that hour like you'll as a result i'm putting my hands in my pocket because it's a little cold bro i'm sorry i actually forgot oh no 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 Just, okay, just take a moment to look at look at the trees while I think about this. I'm sorry. I'm cooked right now. There goes my script. All right, so bro, I can't. I'm, I'm not locked in, bro. Oh my gosh. Like, if you value your time at fifty dollars an hour. You'll use your time more effectively, which will actually, as a result, get you to that level where you actually are making $50 an hour. Let's go. All right, so the 21st thing I learned in 2023 is to abuse your advantages. Abuse the advantages you have, like the fact that you're 16, the fact that like you have a lot of free time, the fact that you don't have to go to school as much, the fact that you have Saturday and Sunday. Use those moments as an advantage to actually improve a lot more. Because you know what everyone else does with their advantages? Like, I have so much free time. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm 16. Okay, I'm not going to do anything because, like, I'm not old enough. And, like, yeah, like, I, I don't need to do anything. Like, everyone else is making excuses with the advantages they have. But you can actually use it to your advantage and actually succeed a lot more. This one's a pretty crazy one. <coughs> this one's a pretty crazy one. So... 22nd thing I learned in 2023 is to be authentic and just be yourself. I know it's kind of like a cringy advice, like just be yourself. But when you're just being yourself, you're not trying to put any like filter on. You're not trying to be someone that you're not really like. You're just being yourself. And as a result, you feel better, you feel happier because you're just being yourself. People actually like you for who you really are. And because you feel great about yourself, the work you do, the stuff you do in life is going to be more enjoyable and it's actually going to be more better. Like if I made some authentic video about just me, myself, and I would probably get more success and more like relatability and growth from that. Than if I was like trying to be some like Hamza, like, and then like 
it's still guy I got some views but like it's not even like I'm not even being me and maybe it might get more views but like I'm not happy because I'm not even myself like I hope that makes sense so yeah be more authentic like literally just be yourself it's, it's kind of easy to, it's it's fun to be yourself right so do it have fun and you'll succeed actually and the last thing I learned in 2023 is to make every single day count from January 1st to December 31st make every day count seriously like some days yeah some days are going to be less productive than other days some days like you're going to feel like doing absolutely nothing some days you're going to feel on top of the world but still do stuff every day so that you can invest in your future self and actually improve your life more often like from april 1st to where i'm at right now like i would say i made every day count i really did because look at my channel right now scroll down to the subscriptions and see how many subscribers i have yeah it might not be like 10 billion subscribers like mr beast or something but because i made every day count because i learned and improved myself and you know did all that stuff i made every day count and look where i'm at right now i feel amazing about myself i feel happy i genuinely enjoy my life i'm genuinely having fun like i'm having like i, I can't wait for 2024 bro 2024 is the year that's literally gonna change my freaking life bro like i'm gonna start making money i'm gonna start doing this like oh dude 2024 is gonna be lit bro lit lit to trump's getting in office let's freaking go <laughs> no but seriously like make every single day count here's the script if you want to see it bro like i'm i just gave my script away like, bro, like make every single day count man when you make every single day count like just do little things like five push-ups boom you made that day count you did five push-ups like you, you feel amazing so seriously do this Dude, this you'll be amazing bro this is the end of the video it's getting cold it's getting dark out it's the uh what is it called like the winter solstice the darkest day of the day of the year so let's freaking go bro oh let's go i made every day count i could have made excuse like oh i'm, I'm home from school i don't feel like filming it's 4 12 i'm out of here i love you bro you're freaking amazing join my discord community if you want i'll be in there talk to you you can literally hop on a call if you want i'll literally dm you too so yeah let's go let's go we're locked in for 2024 bro like you're actually amazing do one of these things that i learned in 2023 improve your life more make this day count like, i'll see you later bro take care bro let's go all right enough hopping hyping myself up bro see ya